Welcome to Eccentric Nature, I'm Eric Hayden, and today I'm gonna take you on a tour of Budapest. I recently had a chance to go there, and uh, I toured all around the city looking for the gardens, and it was much harder than I figured it would be, believe me. I'm gonna give you a tour of a little bit of the city, but mostly of the gardens, okay? That's what I wanna find. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell, that way you can know if I'm releasing a new video, woohoo! Hit the like button too. You can wait until later, you know, and once you really decide if you like the video. Now, uh, Budapest is filled with lots of beautiful architecture and different kinds of buildings that are, if you're gonna go there, you definitely should check out. Um, on the one side of the river, there's this beautiful waterfall. It leads up this massive hill with a bunch of trees. And then there's this great statue at the top of that too, if you wanna check that out. Um, but beautiful waterfall. I'm assuming this sign says keep off the grass. Mega statue! Mega statue! Intriguing. So apparently a lot of the park is under construction right now. Um, but there's more on this side that doesn't show on this little map. But all this stuff over here is under construction. I'm gonna check out the lake area and maybe some of this open air. Alright, finally something exciting. I got some birds, I got a fun castle. Another interesting building over there. And look! An exotic thing called a tour group. Ooh, scary. Ooh. So this whole area in here is actually a museum, from what I found out. And uh, yeah, very beautiful buildings. I didn't go in because I didn't have enough time. I was just zipping around the town. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Flowers! Flowers! There's a statue of some guy here too, apparently, but flowers! Flowers! I'm just excited because I've been going around looking for gardens and flowers and stuff, and all I've been finding is parks and trees, which is nice and everything. But when your mission is to find a nice garden, it's kind of, you know, off funny not to find fun flowers. Okay, so the city park is not all that bad altogether. I mean, it's a park after all, and I shouldn't expect too much as far as flowers, but there's a couple of the places that actually say they are botanical gardens and stuff that I'm gonna check out next. So, you know, if you, you want, you're in Budapest and you wanna see the city park, please do. It's got lots of lots of buildings and things, you know, but you know, don't just take my word for it. I'm just the crazy guy wearing big ass glasses and uh, headphones like this in 90 degrees slash 35 degrees Celsius weather. Hot chocolate and tea time! Alright, there's another statue thingy and stuff. People hanging out in the sun, cool. There's a nice fountain over there. Oh, where are the gardens? This is Orxy Gardens. There's supposed to be gardens here. Dude, what is up? Finally, I found a botanical gardens called the LT Botanical Gardens, and this place was awesome. Um, when you walk in the door, I see all these wonderful flowers right here in various colors. Lovely. And on the other side of them, they had some planters as well, but I didn't have a shot of that, unfortunately. Yeah, inside the greenhouse, they had these crazy lily pads. I mean, these things look like they're carnivorous because of this. There's these barbs on the outside of them. I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera or not, but uh, yeah, inside there is a pot where there has been the, those big, huge things are actually on stems attached to them. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. And then outside, there's still some flowers. Luckily. Um, there were some because you know, it's not exactly the season anymore being the end beginning of September So uh, I was really happy to find some of any flowers uh, Yeah inside the greenhouse though. There's lots of different interesting different kinds of plants um, Of course they had some very big ones some nice interesting small variegated ones Yeah, I love it's just a nice little greenhouse um, Not huge pretty small as greenhouses go, but but nice I really like this guy. This guy was just, I was like, what? This is the, huh? I didn't know the name of it, but it was just like really, really cool. 
Back outside this cool plant, I like this guy a lot with these really long stems leading to these flowers there. And they had a couple different versions of the plant, some pink, some red. Oh yeah. Make a statue part two game of statues. Now this pond here needs some serious help. Somebody needs to come and clean this pond. Please, somebody come clean this pond. Thank you. They also had some a little small bamboo forest, which was a fun treat. They did a really good job of keeping a nice variety of plants. Hey, bonsai friends, check it out. Bonsai trees, sweet. Let's take a closer look. So yeah, the, the, lots of different styles of plants. This, this whole little area right here with these fun bonsai trees. And there's this nice building behind it that had some crawling ivy on top of it that you'll see in a second. But yeah, I really like all these. There's just, each one is unique and different. Yeah, that's, that's the fun thing about bonsai trees. You, they, they, they're just such a fun style. And here's that house I was talking about. Now down the path, they actually had these nice bonsai style trees growing out of the ground. So uh, that, that was also like, what? This is cool. So like, yeah, this one especially. And then I met a friend. I got a ladybug who came on and hung out with me for a little while. Hello, little ladybug. Who's my friend? And then, was, then that was while I was sitting next to this wonderful little fountain with a mini stream where I contemplated the meaning of the universe and came to grips with the serenity of my life. Ah. And then I went out and found some more flowers. This was a little bit of what looked like a rose garden. These guys are awesome. They had these pots um, along the side of the back side of the building that I showed you earlier with the ivy on it. And all these guys, each one of these pots, very beautiful. I know some of my friends know what the name of this is. I can't tell you what it is off the top of my head, but I love this guy. I love this plant. So beautiful. Love that red and green combination. And then, of course, some uh, petunias behind that. But that's it. That's the end of this tour. I'm stopping right there. And uh, I hope you liked the video. Please hit the like button if you haven't already. If you want to watch my tour of uh, some French gardens, you can watch the Jardin de Plant video. Until next time, take care of each other and have fun exploring those gardens.